Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt, and I got another filament review. Folks over at Tech Tank asked me if I'd review their black PLA. So I've got a couple things I've got in mind to print. If you'd like to check it out and see how this filament prints, well, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So we've got some black PLA in the 1.75 millimeter size and it comes, it, this is the second roll that I've gotten and this, this packaging is super tight. And I uh, just want to note this again that they've uh, included this uh, reusable bag inside of the box which I think is a, a really good idea to make sure that you know you can keep it dry and with the elements so now the last time I printed with this stuff I had an issue with my spool holder I couldn't put it on I, I think I printed this on Mo but uh, I couldn't put it on the holder that I had plus this guy uh, the distance between here and here and the opening was just too big and it was sitting on it so I ended up using this is the holder that come with my ANAT and I had printed this out in a while but even this is still too big so I jumped over into Fusion 360 after I took a couple measurements on this and I made up a little spacer kind of thing and uh, th that's going to be the first thing I'm going to print out and that way this will kind of fit with this better and because it, it, if it prints as good as the, the white stuff does then uh, then we're going to be golden so let's get this loaded up and we'll get some spacers printed so this fits a little bit better and, and let's see what else we're going to print because you know what they say about black you know once you print with black well you can always just use some primer and paint it if you don't like and paint it any color you want. So let's get going. By the way, I got a new camera for Christmas, so I hope you enjoy some of these uh, close-ups. Uh, I'm hoping that we're going to get some really nice high definition. So, thank you, Santa. Back to the video.
they fit great so I'm gonna print some more let's go print some more stuff ready time lapse in three two one All right, let's take a look. Now I printed this at a 0.3 millimeter layer height at 60 millimeters per second. I don't know, it looks pretty good. Comes out a little matty. Huh, <laughs> matty, get it? But this is a, on the CR-10, I'm going to unload the filament and throw it on the Delta and print something really cool. Let's go take a look. All right, so this was a, attempt number three. The first one kind of had the corner pop off over here, and then I restarted it, and then the second one started to pop off over here, and I tried to hot glue the corner, and in the middle of the print, it was about up to here. And it was still going, and I went to bed, and I came home to a complete catastrophe. If you want to see that, I'll leave the time lapse at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around and watch the rest of it. But I still got to print his head, and then there's a little rod that connects in between. This is 150% of the, the normal size, and I did it once again at 0.3 uh, layer height. And I believe on the Delta, I did it 30, 35 millimeters per second, I believe. Let's see if I get some close up on the detail. And this time, actually, I, I printed it on the raft as well, so that I was definitely going to get proper bed adhesion. Six hours and 50 minutes. So let's get him off the build plate and let's print his head.
Yeah, so I printed a rocket too. We'll get some close-ups here in a minute, but I got one more thing I'm gonna print. So I'm gonna take the filament out of the delta and I'm gonna throw it on the A net. So one more time lapse. Here we go. Alright, so once again it printed good. Now it still prints it kind of matty. And this is a uh, three, three millimeter or 0.3 millimeter layer height. So this is the lithopane base that I designed up. I'll leave all the links for all the models that I've done today in this video in the description. But let's take a final look at all the models that I've printed and I'll give you my final thoughts on this Tactink Black PLA. So I kind of like the way this stuff turns out. I'll probably use some more. I don't know uh, what other colors they have, but it is available on Amazon. I've left a link down in the description. So if you'd like to pick some of this stuff up and try it out for yourself, use that link. Like to give a special thanks to all those that have subscribed. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Set your notifications to on so you know when my next video is coming out. Thank you to all those that let the ads play. And a super special thank you to all those that contribute on Patreon. Thank you so much. Don't forget, stay tuned for the uh, little time lapse of the failure that I've got coming at the end of this video. Have a great day, everybody. Happy printing. Be safe pouring. Keep coming back because there are going to be more inside the mind of Matt. Peace out!